Hello there, my radar tropical weather expert, Dr. David Riglicki, and today it's all about Hurricane Ian. So let's jump right into it. So what we're looking at here is the wide view of the water vapor channel from the GOES satellites. You can see Hurricane Ian down here, but there's a lot more to the story than just Ian. Don't get me wrong, we'll talk about all the effects that Ian is directly gonna have on the Florida Peninsula, but you also see all of this impressive convection. This is gonna be a big rainfall event. And also you can see outflow from this storm is reaching all the way up into Canada if they just dealt with Hurricane Fiona. And you can also see we have a ridge in the west and a trough digging over the east. And this has been the source of all the uncertainty associated with Hurricane Ian's track. So this gives you an excellent wide view. And if you remember from the, from the hurricane satellite imagery video, what does water vapor tell you? This is that water vapor at upper levels in the atmosphere. This is, this is telling you what's happening at 200, 300 millibars. Well, we can also zoom in to the visible satellite imagery while the sun is still up and you can see the swirling eye. And if you look really closely, you're gonna get to see little mesovortices and the hub cloud. And you can start to see that as it's coming off of Cuba and starts making its way towards the Florida Peninsula. Now another tool that we use and the National Hurricane Center forecasters use is radar coverage because now Hurricane Ian is within radar coverage of the WSR-88D radars on the continents of the United States. This is from the Key West radar, the blue dot here. And primarily what the hurricane forecasters are using this for is now for center fixes. There are planes going in and out, but when the planes aren't in there, this is what the forecasters are gonna be using to figure out exactly where the center of Ian is tracking. And this is really important because now, since we're coming into landfall ops, as we vary, the track can vary in a couple miles in either direction, this is now really important. Now, Hurricane Ian is forecast to become a category four major hurricane. And even though it is forecast to weaken slightly as it makes landfall, that, does, that hopefully should not diminish the threats that are gonna be posed by this tropical cyclone. Now, one of the big ones that even though the track has shifted and is gonna spare Tampa Bay the worst is storm surge. So from the middle of Longboat Key here down to Bonita Beach, you're looking at eight to 12 feet of storm surge. So if you're in the storm's way, this is a lot of storm surge. I please do evacuate. This is very serious now, and I hope you do indeed get out. Now, I want to remind everyone that it's not just the category of this storm that matters. Like I said, it might weaken a little bit, but you know, to uh, we're all familiar with the expression, you know, turn around, don't drown. Well, I got another one for you. The category is not the whole story. So in this case, not only are we going to have to deal with storm surge, we're going to have to deal with rainfall. And based on this map, in this central stretch of Florida, you're gonna be looking at anywhere from 10 to 20 inches of rain, about a foot to a foot and a half of rain. And even though storm surge is going, probably going to cause most of the property damage, and like I said, please do get out if you're in the storm's way, uh, rainfall is usually what's responsible for fatality. So please be very mindful of all the rain that's coming. So this is a little unusual. Uh, most times when a hurricane dumps a lot of rain is because it's moving very slowly. In this case, since Ian was such a mess in the Caribbean, it has a very large wind field and it is pulling a lot of that tropical moisture from the Caribbean over the Florida Peninsula. So you're, like, once again, you're looking at about a foot of rain in this stretch in central to northern Florida. So this is Dr. David Riglicki reminding you that if you are on the pathway of this storm, this is a very serious event. If you're gonna be dealing with the storm surge, please get out of that area and don't sleep on this. This is gonna be a foot of rain. This is a very serious rainmaker. So stay right here and we'll try to give you as many updates as we possibly can. And while you're out there, please stay safe. And I'll talk to you next time.